Hi, we're at Euronaval 2024 in Paris, France. We are now on the booth of uh, Safran Electronics and Defense, who's showcasing a number of innovations and advanced systems specifically dedicated to help uh, navies to counter emerging threats as are currently seen in the Red Sea and Black Sea. Pierre-Olivier, good morning. Thanks for welcoming us. Yes, good morning, Xavier. It's a pleasure to have you on the stand. So we're starting with uh, the OmniSight uh, system. It combines uh, two EOIR systems and uh, there's also a layer of uh, AI to help sailors on board ships uh, to better identify incoming threats. Is that uh, correct? That's correct. So uh, OmniSight is actually uh, an optronics suite uh, which can provide uh, the initial detection. So it uh, features an IRST infrared search and track which is a panoramic system that scans the horizon for potential threats. So it detects uh, the heat of targets and then it tracks them. It can generate tracks that are sent to the CMS to be engaged or before that identified. So for identification, we have the PASEO XLR, which is our high-end, high magnification EOIR that can provide uh, all the required images to uh, classify, identify, and perform potentially the uh, engagement. Engagement can be with guns or uh, missile systems. So uh, currently on the show, we have on the rooftop uh, live uh, systems that are, are remotely controlled from this console. In recent missions, the navies were increasingly keen to uh, identify precisely the type of threats that they were facing in order to adapt their responses, whether they be uh, soft kill or hard kill, uh, to be uh, appropriately uh, chosen uh, so that the, uh, the cost of the response is, uh, is minimized. Can you demonstrate to us uh, the performance of the uh, OmniSight system? It's uh, very foggy today uh, outside uh, the, the convention center. It, it is quite foggy, so uh, we have limited capability to, uh, to detect aircraft. However, we can, um, we can illustrate by uh, showing the, the tracks that are, that are overlaid. And the principle of this OmniSight system is that uh, uh, the operator selects a track that is then uh, designated to the, uh, to the EUIR. UIR is slewed to Q, basically to this uh, position, where uh, it can then uh, perform identification. Uh, we can see, uh, for instance, that uh, the TV camera has uh, trouble seeing uh, beyond one, two kilometers. Whereas if we switch to the, uh, the SWIR channel, the shortwave infrared, we have a, a, a very a neat view of, uh, here we see a crane that's uh, eight kilometers away. Uh, so the crane could also be uh, seen uh, because it's, uh, it's got some hotspots by the cooled infrared channel, medium wave, which provides different information. So if we were at sea, uh, the medium wave infrared channel would see the, uh, typically the engines, the hotspots of the um, aircraft, uh, whereas the, the sphere would give you the outline of the, uh, the hull or the aircraft itself. So we have brought uh, improvements to the, to the PASEO in the form of uh, multiple target tracking uh, features, meaning that uh, uh, the operator can select uh, among a number of uh, proposals. Uh, so uh, we, we can actually switch from one target to the, uh, to the other very uh, rapidly. So this is helpful if you have a swarm of UAVs, for instance, or USVs, or if you have multiple aircraft flying in the... Uh, Together, you can you can uh, you can track whichever uh, threat you, you you wish. Pierre Olivier, for what else are you using uh, your layer of AI uh, in this uh, OmniSight system? So OmniSight already integrates uh, various applications of AI. Uh, firstly, for discrimination of false alarm in the IRST, uh, which is proving very valuable for eliminating uh, unwanted uh, tracks and also to uh, enhance uh, images. So uh, if we take a scenario where the hotspot of a target is detected by the IRST, then we slew to queue the uh, identification system on the, on the hotspot. And then, thanks to image processing, we can have more clarity on the object. We can, uh, we can see the details, the fine details. And if we switch on uh, the uh, AI-based processing, we can have even more sharpness 
And typically, we can gain maybe uh, 5, 10, 15 percent of extra identification range thanks to, thanks to AI. So this is already implemented. It's uh, running on our Ace Cube uh, computer that is specifically designed for our AI ML uh, neural nets. And uh, we are improving uh, the, uh, the capability for operators to, uh, to analyze the, the scenes thanks to this, uh, this, is Im this image processing. That's, uh, yeah, the performance is uh, quite uh, impressive uh, indeed. Uh, and just as a, as a reminder, so the, the Paiseo XLR, uh, the sensor right here, that's the one that's been object of uh, urgent regression requirement in the French Navy and is now being uh, fitted on board all uh, first-rank frigates, so all the, the frame vessels, the frame frigates and the air defense uh, destroyers. And this was directly related to, uh, to the Red Sea. Pierre-Olivier, another system that uh, the Navy and DGA have co now confirmed that uh, that's been uh, procured to be fitted on board ships among other systems. Again, for ships going in the Red Sea is the Skyjacker. Uh, we see the antenna on top of the Omnisite. So that's a system to spoof uh, threatening uh, UAS uh, in order to protect vessels from incoming uh, drones. Yes, absolutely. Skyjacker is a jamming and spoofing system which uses GNSS signals. Okay, So what we are doing effectively is uh, um, sending signals that have been manipulated so that targets that are using GPS for navigation and guidance would essentially turn around uh, so that they become non-threatening. Okay, So uh, this has been tested and it's effective in a pretty wide area and uh, it can uh, actually uh, process a swarm of, uh, of threats uh, in this area. Pierre-Olivier, this is a new system you're unveiling at uh, Euronaval 2024. Uh, I recognize the Paseo XLR, but uh, what is the, the antenna behind it? So, Xavier, the, uh, this is our combined EO and radar uh, fire control director. FASEO is a second to none EOIR for identification and tracking of targets. However, under very adverse meteorological conditions, uh, it, it may not be able to track uh, all targets. So um, the radar component um, is here to bring this uh, robustness and uh, all weather uh, nature to the, the tracking system. So our concept is innovative in the sense that we have two sensor heads two existing and sea-proven solutions, the optronic on the one side and the radar on the other side, working uh, as um, a single system from the user's point of view, fusing at very low level uh, the data and uh, allowing to perform the best possible tracking. So there are, uh, the nominal case is uh, both systems are looking at the same target and taking the best data sources available, so angles, ranges from uh, the cameras, the radar, the laser rangefinder. It is a lightweight solution, so uh, the radar is uh, on the order of 250 kilos, uh, so it does not require a significant structural reinforcement of the ship uh, to be installed. It's roughly the same constraints as the Optronic system. Pierre-Olivier, last but certainly not least, this is your uh, NGDS uh, display. NGDS is your advanced uh, decoy launch system. It's trainable, so it can move on two axes. Your new product launch at your naval is uh, this system in the middle. Basically, you're taking existing uh, NGDS, so it comes in different configurations, but this one, on this one, you're feeding hard kill solutions, uh, and on, the, on this one it's uh, MBDA, Mistral 3, surface to air missiles, short range missiles. That's right, Xavier. Uh, we have um, taken the opportunity to propose a, a combination of a soft kill and a hard kill uh, in order to reduce the footprint of the, uh, the system uh, on decks. So uh, we can accommodate a, a combination of uh, chaff and flare on the one hand and uh, Mistral missiles. Uh, what you see here is uh, two modules of four Mistrals, uh, but we can actually uh, mix and match and uh, come up with the, uh, uh, the configuration that the customer wants uh, on their ships. So that's a new option available to navies around the world or existing uh, NGDS users. 
to add uh, hard kill capability in addition to the soft kill to their fleet and in order to face well those emerging threats we mentioned uh, previously. Absolutely. Uh, the, the, the objective here is really to provide a cost-effective solution to, uh, to process medium or large UAVs that uh, could be processed with missiles, obviously, larger missiles, but uh, it's more cost-effective to use a, a Vichorad uh, solution. Very well, Pierre-Olivier. Thank you very much. Thank you, Xavier.